हेलो दिस इज प्रोबेबिलिटी लेसन थ्री इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस मल्टीप्लीकेशन थ्योरम इट्स बेसिक एज वेल एज क्वेश्चन द थ्योरम से इज दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए एंड बी हैपनिंग टुगेदर नाउ दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन वेदर द इवेंट्स आर डिपेंडेंट और इंडिपेंडेंट वेन द इवेंट्स आर डिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स आर डिपेंडेंट दिस विल बिकॉज टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इन टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी वेन ए हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन this slash means probability of b when a has already happened this is called as actually this this part is called as conditional probability conditional probability conditional probability is uh, nothing complex concept it's simple concept that you need to calculate the probability of b given that a has already happened it means events are dependent happening of one event depends on happening of other in this case happening of b depends on whether a has happened or not independent events in case of independent events when our events are independent there will be only two kinds of kinds of event whether they are dependent or they are independent then it will be probability of a into this will become probability of b because probability of b what it means that this actually means that probability of b when a has happened a has happened now as we say that events are independent by common sense independent means that probability of one event does not depends upon the probability of other events in this case whenever events are independent probability of b whether a has happened or not does not depends probability of b by a whenever the events are independent will be equals to probability of b so in simply manner independent event case the probability will get simply multiplied let me take another example probability of a and b and c in this case i am taking three events whenever events are independent and whenever they are dependent two case i will take dependent whenever events are dependent it means that uh, happening of b or c depends on whether a has happened let me take first a is happening this will be equal to probability of a into probability of b when a has already happened in this case the event will be dependent i will discuss example that will make the concept more clear till now till now you have to only understand the concept into probability of c when a and b both has happened as events depends upon each other so probability of happening of c will depend on whether a and b has happened or not in case of independent event this will be equal to probability of a this will be equal to probability of b into probability of c when simply probabilities will get multiplied why so the logic is that whenever events are independent probability of b when a a has happened or not is equal to pb because probability of b when a has happened does not depends this is equal to probability of b this is equal to probability of c because this actually means that this actually means that probability of c when a and b has happened now as the events are independent it does not matter whether a a and b has happened or not this will simply means that probability of c and i am just uh, making independent events independent when events independent probability of b a this is equals to probability of b because probability of b does not depends on whether a has happened or not this is equals to probability of b probability of c when a and b both whether a and b together has happened or not does not depends because all events are independent this will be equals to probability of c that's the only difference so in case of dependent events we have to uh, open with the conditional probabilities otherwise we have to simply multiply the probability so independent event when the, whenever the events are independent given to you if you know, you know that events are independent simply probabilities get multiplied and how to judge whether the events are independent or dependent that is by common sense your simplest concept you can look at the question you can judge whether the events are independent or dependent independent events probability will get simply multiplied probability of a and b and c this will equal to probability of a into probability of b into probability of c
it could be bar also a and b and c c bar bar means not happening of probability of a bar means not happening of a probability of a bar is not happening of a this is true in this multiplication theorem is true in no not cases as well as positive cases probability of b into probability of c bar whatever be the situation whether it's a bar type probability or non bar probability will get simply multiplied whenever events are independent also this is true a bar b bar and c bar but it means that probability of not happening of a and b and c all no nothing is happening either neither event a is happening nor event b is happening nor event c is happening given that events are independent their probabilities will get multiplied this is probability of c bar that's the meaning of independent events i will give you example that will make clear whether the events are independent or dependent a bag contain five whites this is i'm just writing five whites seven red and eight blue balls three balls are drawn one by one without replacement we have not replaced the ball we have taken we have to find the probability that all balls are white it means that first ball we will draw is white and second is also white and third is also white third ball as this multiplication theorem will be applied because we need to find the probability of a and b and c happening together all balls are white now probability that first ball is white now if the first ball is white you have thrown that ball away that ball is not there with you so probability of second ball is white will definitely depends upon that the first ball was white because you have not replaced the ball whatever the ball you have withdrawn that ball is thrown away now probability that second ball is white will not be the same as your probability that first ball is white same way probability that third ball is white will depend upon whether the first ball was white as well as second ball was white because why the events are dependent here events are dependent here because whatever the ball we have we are withdrawing we are not replacing we are throwing away that ball for example let me discuss this question first ball is a white ball now probability is favorable by total 5 c1 you have you can select any of the five balls five white balls are there the favorable cases total cases are 8 7 15 plus 5 20 balls we have 20 c1 we can select any one ball out of 20 that is the total cases favorable we need first ball to be white so white balls are 5 5 c1 now you know that first ball is white you have thrown away that ball now probability that second ball is white will change because now the number of white balls are not 5 favorable cases will be 4 because first ball was white you know that probability that first ball was white and even if the first ball is white you have thrown away that ball now probability that second ball is white now how many white ball left four white balls are left total balls are 19 c1 because first ball you have thrown away now third probability now two balls are white first white second white both of the balls i have thrown away so probability of third ball is a white ball this is 3 c1 because three white balls are left now any of the one you can select that will be favorable because you know that given that first ball and second ball is a white ball third is a white you need to calculate the probability that third is a white given that first ball and second ball was white so 3c1 upon 18c1 because total balls are now 18 that will be your final answer whereas in second case in this case a bag contain five white ball same question seven red balls eight blue balls out of these three these out of these balls three balls are drawn one by one with replacement now you are replacing the ball you are withdrawing find the probability that all balls are white first white 
and second ball is white and third ball is also white now again first ball is white into probability of second is white given that first was white and probability of third ball is a white ball given that first and second are both white that was the case of dependent probability case now you can see that these are independent events these are independent event because whatever ball we have withdrawn we have replaced that ball the probability of first ball is white again 5 c1 upon 20 c1 now whatever ball we have withdrawn we have replaced that ball again total balls in the box are 20 so to probability that total cases again in second case we also 20 c1 because whatever the ball we have withdrawn we have replaced that ball first ball was white we have taken out we have replaced that ball with the within the box total balls in the box are still 20 whereas in first case whatever ball we have withdrawn we have not replaced now again total balls are 20 how many white balls are there again total white balls are still 5 because first ball was white we have replaced that ball again now probability of second ball is white does not depends does not depends upon whether first ball was white or not because whatever ball we have withdrawn we have replaced that ball into the box so can i say this will be equals to probability of first is a white and second is a white condition probability will be get removed and third is a white because events are independent whatever ball you have drawn you have replaced that ball we have put that ball again in the box so probability the second ball is white does not depend on whether first was white or not this will be again 5 c1 again total balls are 5 white balls 5 c1 that is favorable cases total cases would be 20 c1 third case again whatever second ball you have withdrawn you have replaced that ball again in the box again total balls are 20 20 c1 will be total cases favorable cases 5 white balls are still there so 5 c1 that's the meaning of independent and dependent events M more questions will make this concept better clear to you question one is the probability that a does the work probability that a does the work probability of the a does the work is 2 by 3 and probability that b does the work is b is doing the work this is probability this probability is 1 by 3 now what the question says that the work is getting done now first of all what kind of events they are they are independent events they are independent events because a doing a is doing work does not depend upon whether b has done work or not if b has done work the probability that a will do the work does not depends whether b has done the work or not by common sense that two person are independent they are doing work independently so this event is these events are independent so independent event probability will get multiplied now what is the probability that the work is gets done this question can question can be solved in two ways either a is doing work and b is not doing work this is because let's say a is alone is done the work because what the question says that work is get done it means that a could do the work b is not at all doing work or it could be like this probability that a a has not done any single work only b is doing work b alone is doing work or both together are doing work a is doing work as well as b is doing work both together are three possibilities are there now events are independent so probabilities will get multiplied or means plus probabilities will get multiplied as events are independent simply common sense you can say that because a is doing work does not depend upon whether b has done our work or not so probability of a is doing work is 2 by 3 b is not doing work b is doing work probability is 2 by 3 b is not doing work probability will be 1 minus 1 by 3 this is 2 by 3 
बिकॉज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट हैपनिंग ऑफ ए इज वन माइनस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ हैपनिंग ऑफ ए सेम वे प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इज नॉट डूइंग वर्क वन माइनस टू बाय थ्री दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाय थ्री दिस आई मेकिंग सेपरेट केस नाउ बी इज नॉट डूइंग वर्क इज टू बाय थ्री प्लस ए इज नॉट डूइंग वर्क इज वन बाय थ्री प्रोबेबिलिटी बी इज डूइंग वर्क वन बाय थ्री प्लस बोथ आर डूइंग वर्क टू बाय थ्री इन टू वन बाय थ्री दिस विल गिव यू फोर बाय नाइन प्लस वन बाय नाइन प्लस टू बाय नाइन सो आंसर इज सेवन बाय नाइन दिस इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट वर्क इज गेटिंग डन नाउ दैट दैट वॉज अ बिट लेंथ दी मैथड वी कैन सोल्व द अदर मैथड इज फर्स्ट मैथड दिस वॉज फर्स्ट मैथड सेकेंड मैथड इज दैट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ वर्क डन प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ वर्क डन दिस विल बी प्लस टू वन माइनस प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ वर्क नॉट डन वर्क नॉट डन दिस इज इक्वस टू वर्क नॉट डन मीन्स दैट नीदर ए हैज डन वर्क नोर बी हैज डन वर्क दिस इज इक्वस टू ए इज नॉट डूइंग वर्क एज वेल एज बी इज नॉट डूइंग वर्क देन ओनली द वर्क विल नॉट गेट डन दिस इज इक्वस टू अगेज एज द इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोबिलिटीज विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड This is equals to one minus A is not doing work. The probability was one by three. B is not doing work. It was two by three. So it was one minus two by nine. Your answer is seven by nine. That's the best method to solve this question. So probability of getting work done is one minus probability of getting work not done. So that was all about lesson three multiplication theorem basics as well as question. I will discuss few more questions on. independent and dependent events that will make your concept far more clear thank you